and I'm a professional olive oil taster. Okay. This is my job. Okay. It can be seems strange, but olive oil rules are uh, uh, international. Mm -hmm. And speaking about extra virgin olive oil mm -hmm. means speaking about a commercial category, not a quality, not anything. To be called extra virgin needs to pass through examination. A chemical one, we don't care about that, but they are wide range. An organolectical one. It means group of people trained to smell and taste the oil and to say if there is any defect or not. If there are no defect and there is a smell, the oil is extra virgin. If there is any defect that can be fermentation or oxidation and we are trained to perceive them, we stop the oil and the oil cannot be called extra virgin anymore and became virgin or lampante. Lampante is not suitable for human use. Wow. So what's happened is that fermentation and oxidation are really easy to be found in olive oil. Mm -hmm. Fermentation means the fruit was overripe. They let the fruit too much time from the picking to the milling. Or the fruit was left at the sun for two hours. It's enough. What's happened is that the oil is inside the olives and inside the olives start fermentation. And oxidation? Oxidation happens when the oil gets in contact with oxygen. So, uh, open, uh, open uh, bottle, get oxidated. An oil that get extreme change of temperature, get oxidated. An oil that get old, get oxidated. So, the oil at least should last one year, from one picking to the next time. Wine old, oil young. That's the way of saying that you have in Italy, but it's really true. So more is young, better it is. More is old, worse it is. What are we speaking about here is the kind of champagne of olive oil. The good smell of oil is fresh olives, green olives, any kind of shade of green you can imagine in the green garden. So everything has to remind you the sensation of green, of fresh, of spring. Cut grass, green leaves of tomato, green apple, artichoke, arucola, lettuce, you know, spring flowers, plus fruit, but not ripe fruit or overripe fruit, fresh fruit. So if it's an apple, it's a green apple. If it's a smell of pear, it's a green pear. In the whole world, there are 1,200 different quality of olives, 1,200. Theoretically, each one of them can give a different oil. So like wine, you can have many different kind of smell and taste in the oil. I would like, in the meanwhile, if you can ask someone to take the oil you have in the kitchen okay. and just come here with a small plastic glass with oil. Okay, okay, thank you. okay, because we are gonna taste it. Yeah. yeah. Perfect. Can I see this? We're gonna, we're gonna take. Bravissimo. This looks like not even Spanish. Looks like Greece. Anyway, we will taste it. Yeah. First thing, we have some enemies of this champagne. When you open a bottle of champagne, you don't let it open. Oxygen, air. So, every time you open this bottle, the oxygen enter. And this is really big, so you need time. So you will open 100 times. Second thing, when you open a bottle of champagne, you don't put the bottle of champagne near to the window where the sun arrives. Clear. Transparent. Really bad for olive oil. Olive oil, it's usually green, or have part of green, because it comes from green olives, the good one. Green is... Uh, how do you call the green part of the leaves? Chlorophyll. Yeah. Chlorophyll is a bomb. It's perfect when it's in the dark, but it has been built to react with light. The chlorophyll works with light, so more the oil is green, more if you put it in the light, these reactions start, and the oil starts to get destroyed from the inside. Maybe I won't put more. You can smell the same one. You three. Please smell it. Okay. That smell is what in your, you know, you are used to smell yeah. as an olive oil. Now we smell this one because I don't know. Please.
you don't mind, I don't taste it. I already know how it looks. I want to, you to feel the difference. Okay. Very flat. This, yeah. you know, it's flat. Flat because no antioxidant. Everything gets burned. So this fermentation was so high that smell of vinegar. This one, smell it. it. It's like a dressing. You know the prepared dressing? If you smell it, you can smell it. smells like a salad with yeah. oil and vinegar. It does. Just but there is no vinegar in it. Mm. And you didn't notice if you don't, if you don't taste before here. And it's almost astringent, this one, guys. Is it like kind of like in your mouth? Is it like kind of, is it rough? Like, like, yeah. uh, rough. Like, like green persimmon? Rough is exactly the word that ex rough means an oil that is so oxidated that get rancidity and rough is a sensation of oil with a high oxidation mm -hmm. it's like buttery remain mm -hmm. fatty yeah compared to the other oh. it looks like to be you know it's another thing <sighs> yeah i'm sorry no, i didn't I'm want sorry. you to discover in that way oh, I mean, that you have to find out no you don't know what this is once you know, you can choose. Yeah. Before you start to cook, you should taste the oil you are using because that taste is give you information. We know that for the healthy point of view, it's really important. And now I want to tell you that even from the taste point of view. Yeah. So how to taste the olive oil? We have two parts. One is just smelling. Then way to do it. I teach you and then you do it. You put a, like a coffee spoon in the mouth. You don't swallow. You keep it in the mouth because you have to look for bitter and hot, spicy. Move it a little bit. And then you do like this. You have to close the, the teeth, like the one. But instead of letting the air enter here, the air has to enter here. Do it one. One stop, not and you should try to do the same to all the tasting because if one is the other one is it change <laughs> and take care because these will make the oil goes all around your mouth. You will perceive better the taste, but then will come the back nose part smell, and this will give you much more information about aromatic herbs or whatever. We are going to discover what you are, what you can find. Of course, I find more, more, more smell than you, but I'm a nose since 12 years. But you will see. So, can we do it? Yeah. Quiet, don't be on hurry. You don't need to do it immediately. Take your time because, you know, this is not eating oil. This is professionally tasting oil just to enter in this amazing culture and in, in this amazing ingredient, not condiment, not dressing, okay? Wait, feel the bitter, feel again the grass. Then you swallow and you wait. The spicy arrives after and comes here. The bitterness is bitter, but it's a pleasant bitterness. It's not an unpleasant, it's not an astringent old bitterness. Very good mouthfeel. Okay. And then you have to wait, because more you wait, and more it gets open. And now the mouth is fresh, it's clean. It's not, okay, it's a fat. We are drinking a fat. But if you imagine to drink a fat, you don't imagine this sensation. On food, this kind of green, put with fatty food together, you have to try it, give the mouth a freshness sensation. More the food is fat, and more you add a green oil, more, Putting together in the mouth, you got this sensation. You don't feel anymore the fat. You just feel a magic combination that increase every sense. Second time, it's spicy. Yes, and the third, it's even more. The spicy is the antioxidant, the polyphenols. This is the healthy part, and it's gonna go to your trigeminal nerve. You know, we have got a nerve here when you got toothache and you have problem or you got headache. Is this nerve? This nerve is really sensitive to the polyphenols that are like uh, anti-inflammatory. But they work like flame that pull out the inflammation. So more you will taste and more you will fight. This is the less spicy. Sorry. Really? Uh, yeah, we're gonna grow now. Wow. The name of this variety is Itrana. Itrana is a special table olive from Lazio, from the region of Roma. 
it's a it's a table olive, so it's quite big. It's really good, but you can you can have oil from any kind of olives. Itrana is famous because it's really fruity, not too aggressive in the mouth because at the end you see it's gone, but remain this and it's really green. So green leaves of tomato. You know when you clean the tomato from the leaves, mm -hmm. that smell. Yeah. Fresh cut grass, aromatic herbs, green almond. Smell it. Do the comparison, always keep the first oil and then make the comparison with the other one, okay? The smell of this oil is, is a smell of cookies from Sicily. Cookies? Cookies from Sicily. You know the, the sweet almond, you have the... Yeah, I know. Can you, can you smell it? You want to try it in the same way we did before? Now in the mouth. See, it's not a dry almond. It's not dry now. This is totally... Yeah, you have to do stronger. Yes, to be more, yeah. Okay? And now it's calm. Yeah, yeah. And it's more time. And I start, you know, oil needs time, but this, it's really this almond sensation, but it's green, fresh, again. I taste like the spice of cookies, you know, like you're saying. When I yeah. taste it, that's when I taste it. And then the heat, it really hits you when it's, yeah. it's much stronger, uh, not much, but stronger yeah. than the cookie. Of course, in the, meaning, in the meanwhile, you put any kind of oil on the, on the fire, the sensation of bitterness and spicy will decrease a lot still will disappear completely. So you won't have in a, in a tomato sauce, if you use a really uh, bitter oil, you won't have this bitterness if you cook it. But the antioxidant, more they are, more they work while you cook. Let's speak about a tomato sauce, because I'm Italian, so Pomodoro. I can speak about tomato sauce. Pomodoro has a lot of lycopenes. Lycopenes are the antioxidant of the fruit. Yeah. You, you take an olive oil with really high content of antioxidant. You put them together and you start to cook them. In the first 15 minutes, the 30% of the antioxidant of both get burned. But the other one, 70%, instead of getting slowly, slowly burned, get together. They get stabilized together. The antioxidant of the oil stabilize the antioxidant of any kind of vegetable you can use in your kitchen. And at the end, they won't be dead. They will be in the food. From the taste point of view, nothing changed. But for the healthy point of view, instead of having just calories and food, you got a calories, food, and a medicine. It's part of, you know, of the speech. But it's interesting because we are looking for something is happening. We are getting ill because we don't eat well. So starting to eat better, it's really important. Since 10 years ago, 15 years ago, they were not using it for eating. They were using it for cutting, for cutting the old ones. Because it was so strong, bitter and pungent, that putting in the rancid ones, they were looking like nearly new. Wow. Now they have learned how to make curatina, and they start to make amazing curatina that they discover can be eaten, can be enjoyed without mixing, and it's, one of the highest polyphenols oil in the world. Now, now here you perceive a lot, the green almond and the heart of the artichoke. Try to look for it, something fresh and green from the green garden. Really good oil for meat, for some cheese. The, the more green one are good more with a, you know, milky cheese or... Is it spicy? Yes, it is. It's really a new ingredient. Can we do the last one before you die? No. Or you can go. I, I can. I, I can go. I can go on till you cry. Oh, I want to cry. Yeah. You want to cry? I do. Okay. We go on. Yes, please. This is an oil that comes from Sardinia. Oh. You know Sardinia? Yes. Sardinia has Bosana. A 
as many others as Nera di Villa Cidro. One day I will come here and I will only tell you in Italian all the name of all the variety of the oil, like a poetry. Maladores, yeah, the pasta, the handmade pasta, the one that ran, like gnocchi. Yeah. yeah. So, Bosana, it's a special oil, like the people that live in Sardinia. Sardinia has the most beautiful beaches in the world. Sorry, even more than Hawaii, I think. You have to go there. You have to go there. But at the same time, the, the inside has really wild, dry, and rocky mountains. Yeah, they've been wine there too. <clears throat> That's exactly. And the oil is the same. The oil is one of the more complex oil because in, the oil, in that kind of oil you can find the pear, the fresh fruit pear smell, but at the same time you find the green artichoke. You can find the leaves, but at the same time you can find some green leaves of tomato. There are, it's like two words are meeting. This is a kind of oil that is even quite easy to understand for the people that is not trained because you can put it everywhere. It's good on everywhere, everything. It's, just, it's um, not as hot, it's bitter, a little bitter, yeah. but a good bitter, good, not that. What is important is that there is not only one kind of bitterness. The people think yeah. that bitterness is bitterness. No, coffee can be amazing and can be disgusting mm. and the bitterness is never the same. Okay. Beer can be amazing and can be disgusting, and the bitterness is not the same, even in oil. If you taste a fruit, an olive, from the tree, have you never tried to taste a fresh olive? It's unbelievable. You cannot speak for two hours because it's so bitter. Taste of nothing except this crazy bitterness and astringency. You, you cannot move your tongue, get stuck there. This bitterness is the strength of the olive, but is the meal that makes the difference. Once you know, anyway, anyway, in this moment, your brain has got something new that you didn't get before. No. So now, now something is started. You can go on, you can stop, but it's important for me that you know that. For sure. It's really, it's culture, it's biodiversity, it's taste. It's emotion because food is emotion. Sure. Smell, it's emotion, yeah. and it's oil it. is one of the food with that that move more emotion in the world. This is why I'm so into that yeah. since so many times. A great job, thank you so much. Yeah. Because yeah. when you yeah. smell, <laughs> yeah. thank you. Great job. Yeah, this is good. I mean, like. Some, sometimes you smell something. You think about your grandmother, your childhood, your first lover. Your, that's what that kind of oil can do. Mm -hmm.